Welcome to the Alpine Village. This is Artrix Alpine Academy. Preparations are well underway for the event kicking off this afternoon. So let's give you a quick look around. I had intended this video to be a preview of the Academy for this year, but between being on the Col de Galibier for watching the Tour de France the other day and working at the event now, I realised I haven't got time to actually make this edit before the event starts. So instead, it's going to be a traditional vlog, but hopefully that'll give you guys some psych to maybe come out and check it out next year. Welcome to Park Coutte, the home for this year's event. <laughs> Unlike in previous years where most things have been based over in Plaster Triangle, everything this year is based here, which makes more sense really, having everything in one place. But yeah, that's a, it's a change from previous years. So if you have been out in the past, don't like it for you. You need to come here for everything. This is the scene. This is where all the film premieres and other film showings will be taking place on the big screens here, as well as talks and presentations on the stage and yeah, general party atmosphere as well. This is the pop-up bouldering wall. There'll be open climbing sessions at various points throughout the weekend, as well as gear demos can take place here, and there'll be a competition on one of the nights as well. These are the food tents on top of the hill here, as well as a bar in the corner as well. So yeah, there'll be usual, I imagine, hot dogs, burgers, and no doubt some kind of melted cheese. This is Haute Savoie in France after all. Got a bit of a photo exhibition here in the woods. Here at the Maison des Artistes, this is where some of the after parties will be taking place. The 2024 edition is stacked from ice acts to music acts. The program is full to the rim. And here at Parc Coutte, it is your base camp. Bringing this. Now, my first, I think the first academy I went to, there was like three people and a chamois. And that was it. That was all. And then it's grown and grown. But um, I think my favorite memory is a giant thunderstorm. And we all had to hide under this little piece of ice. And we got wet and cold. And at the end, we're all really good friends. And today, one of the people who was there came up and said, I was at that with you, and it was awesome. So, so I really love it because I climbed so much here in the mountains. And every time I come, I just check the weather. Conditions and then you just do the thing right to do. On behalf of the Arctic Academy, je déclare que l'Arctic Academy est officiellement. Just like that, after several days of blood, sweat, and tears, the 13th Arctic Academy is now open. Everything's too straight. Yeah, I. And she's in charge of the whole thing, so. I don't think like you're the right person to talk about wonkiness. Wow! It's not the guy that brought your CV at the call. I mean, it's nice. Welcome to day two of the Arctic Alpine Academy. My job for the last couple of days has been helping to basically set up the Alpine village, but today I'm counting people, which is nice and easy right now because there's very few people here, but 
later this afternoon and certainly this evening, it's going to be chaos, so much harder work. But yeah, so. some yoga going on right now at the bottom. Some people at the Reburg cubes getting gear, getting their gear repaired and everything, but other than that, very, very quiet. <laughs> So here at the cubes today, and to basically every day, mix up a little Gore-Tex dry bag stuff sack thing made out of Gore-Tex material scraps that they're upcycling. I mean, the seams aren't taped, so it's not actually fully waterproof, but it is Gore-Tex material, so it's pretty water resistant. And yeah, it takes 10 minutes or so, you get to use the sewing machine yourself, so kind of fun. It's also open session at the bouldering, although no one's actually using it yet. <laughs> Everyone's tense. Oh man, that was so awesome because if only you knew how many guys have backed off this roof. She took a pass. Yesterday was a complete washout at the academy, which is why you didn't hear much from me. The courses and clinics still go ahead, but some of them had to be heavily adjusted to account for the miserable weather. So nothing ever gets cancelled, but worst case scenario, some things might have to go indoors or go much slower down the mountain. But it is what it is. It's part of the nature. If you're doing mountain sports, you've got to adapt to the mountain environment. Alpine Village itself would have been pretty quiet yesterday. The films were moved to the the box cinema in town instead of the open air stage basically in the village and I think the first music act also played in the cinema and then the DJ set was moved to the Polyduce which is where the after party was anyway so yeah not much going on in the Alpine village yesterday and seeing as the weather was so bad I wasn't on shift so I stayed at home as well but I'm back working again today and it's pretty grim first thing this morning but it's turning out to be a reasonably nice day now so yeah the participants will be having a much better time up the mountain today than they did yesterday, that's for sure. And you can win two rucksacks, well not two, but one of the rucksacks, and have the chance to win a waist belt. Oh. Just like that, the Arcturix Alpine Academy is over for another year. What took three or four days to build has been dismantled in a matter of hours, but that's always the way. I think moving it, everything to Park Cute this year was a big success. Having everything in one place and centralised is definitely beneficial. And of course, the park is a bit more pleasant environment than being in the central square as well. 
has more of a festival vibe and a nature atmosphere. You definitely lose a little bit of footfall from casual passing bystanders who don't know anything about the Artist Academy, but when it's in the middle center of town, they'll walk past it. But I think that's fairly negligible. But don't forget, this is just the start of a long summer of quality entertainment and sporting events. So if you want to know what's coming up next, check out my video here for basically everything that's going on this summer. But spoiler alert, next weekend it's the Climbing World Cup. So Hot and Hills, the Arctic Academy, the world's best climbers are back again next weekend. And all that's left for me to do now is enjoy the after party.